Hey, what up guys? Gary Glacier here. I'm gonna do a bike check and review on my Polygon Siskiyou N7. Been meaning to do this for a while. Um, I've had the bike for close to a year. In December, it'll be a year. Um, actually, Christmas Day, it'll be a year. So, um, I've done some upgrades on the bike. I uh, kinda wanna go through it, show you what I've done. Uh, and then at the end, I'll give you a quick review on what I think of the bike and the Polygon brand. Real quick, I'll just run you through this, uh, starting from the front, and then we'll work our way towards the back. So, first thing I did was change the tires. The tires came with Magic Mary's. Uh, Schwabi didn't like them. Um, the dead zone when you turned really freaked me out as a uh, beginner rider. I couldn't get comfortable uh, going into turns. Um, it's a great tire. A lot of riders use it. A lot of aggressive riders use it, but with my knowledge and barely getting into mountain biking, it just wasn't for me. So I switched to the tried and true DHF, which is great for SoCal and the dry conditions we have uh, out here. You can do anything with them. It's an all purpose tire. Um, it's good at everything, not great at one thing, but it's perfect for my style of riding as well. The other thing I did is I upgraded the stock Yari 160 to the Lyric Ultimate 160. Um, all I did was change the charger up here which also changed the damper and uh, it became a Lyric. Um, sits higher in the travel, sits higher when you're turning, sits higher in the berms. Um, you get a lot more small bump uh, sensitivity um, with it and you can dial in the low and high speed compression up here a lot better. Uh, the Yari was just motion control, open or close and that's about it, which was fine. Um, I learned on it, but after about six months, I decided to upgrade and I'm glad I did. Upgraded the bars, went to PNW. 170 mil. Uh, another thing I did was upgraded the dropper lever because the stock one was garbage. Um, I literally just upgraded to the Magura's MT7 Pros with the HC3 lever. This is my first ride on them. I'm doing a climb right now and I'm about to drop into a trail and I'm gonna see how they do. But so far so good. They look great. They sound amazing and just off the small little sample size that I have done with the braking they definitely break on point uh, another upgrade I did was to the rear shock it came with a Fox DPS Fox DPS is garbage for my style of riding the riding that's out here out in Simi Valley uh, very chunky very steep Fox DPS just could not keep up with the uh, descent and it would actually like get hot and all of a sudden you're just bottoming out all the time I didn't bother with tokens, I didn't want to even mess with that. I looked into uh, other um, rear shocks, the DPX2, the X2, all that stuff, but I actually settled on getting a coil, uh, and I got the Marzuki Bomber uh, CR with a Cane Creek Bolt Progressive uh, Spring Rate of 450 to 550 for me. Um, and this is money, perfect. I probably won't go to air on the rear shock if I go to another bike. I'm really comfortable with the coil. I like the coil. I like to set it and forget it type of ease it has to it. Um, I'm not that smart when it comes to dialing in all my um, settings on my bike. So I kind of like something that's a little simpler. Set it up and just ride and go. Um, and that's been perfect for me. Obviously upgraded the pedals. One up composite. Kept the stock dropper. Upgraded to the WTB Volt gel saddle. Really liking that back tire initially I went with the DHR 2 which matches with the Minion DHF um, great tire I loved it I learned a lot on it but for the second tire that I got because I wore those out I went with the aggressor a little more faster rolling uh, you lose a little bit of the grippiness but uh, I want to get better at turns I want to get better at berms and I just want to get faster overall so I went with a more faster rolling tire and uh, I upgraded the brakes so therefore if I make a mistake I can stop better We'll see how that works out for me. Upgraded the rotors. 
They came with stock 180s. I went with 203 Shimano Ice rotors. And uh, yeah, big difference initially, even with the stock brakes that I had, which were four pistons as well, um, I felt a huge difference going down with these. So I'm really, really hoping that these Maguros are gonna be like a home run on this bike. Um, I actually like the bike where it's at right now. It's dialed in pretty good. I'm very, very satisfied with it. I don't think I'm gonna be getting a new bike anytime soon. Um, you know, but we'll see. New bike day can be around the corner any day. My review on the bike is this. It's a great bike at the budget entry level bike. Now mind you, this is a $2,500 bike, so I don't know how budget that is for some people. Some people's budget is $1,000 to get in, but it's definitely not the $7,000 range to get to the high-end bikes. Um, so take my review with a grain of salt. I've never ridden prior to this. This is my first full suspension bike. I've been mountain biking for about a year. I've never owned a Santa Cruz, a Yeti, a Transition, a Norco, uh, any of those big boys. So I don't know the difference. I can't compare. All I know is that if you're getting into the sport and you want a bike that can do it and do it all and you don't have to upgrade if you don't want to, this bike is definitely the way to go. Polygon is a great brand. Uh, I have no issues with this bike. I've seen a lot of other reviews online where guys have issues with the drivetrain or the or the dropper or this and or that and they're complaining and bikes online sucks. Bikes online has been pretty good to me. They're the only way to buy a Polygon in the United States. Um, I've had no issues with them. I've had no issues with the bike. Um, now that I have the bike dialed in the way I have with the upgrades, I get a lot of compliments on it. People ask me what type of bike it is. I let them know. Some have heard of the brand, some haven't, but um, I keep up with some of my friends who are on Specialized, who are on Transitions, who are on uh, YTs, and who are on e-bikes. It flies and goes so easily down the trails. The only limitation of this bike is the rider, and that's me. I'm not that good yet. I'm getting better. I'm progressing. I've had my uh, fair share of fells. As you can see from the bike itself, it's definitely had its its moments all over the place. I did not ride wrap this thing. I did not put any type of protection on this thing. You can even look at the fork. The fork's had some damage. Look at this bad boy. But I mean, when you're sending it and when you're learning, it's gonna happen. Once I had one scratch, I was like, I'll get a wrap for it. Once I had two scratches, I'll still get a wrap for it. Once I had third, three or four scratches on it, I was like, you know what, screw it. I'm gonna leave it as is. It's gonna get more banged up. I really don't care. Um, the bike looks good as it is and uh, it just is what it is. I'll put everything I have on the bike as far as the setup and everything that I purchased in the description below with links. Go ahead and check them out. I'm not affiliated with anybody, I'm not sponsored by anybody. I just, I like certain products and uh, I push them and that's pretty much it. <sighs> Whew. I just climbed, so I'm a little tired. Any questions on the bike, my setup, my whatever you want to know, drop it in the comments. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Um, if you like the review and if you like my bike, uh, be sure to like the video. Be sure to subscribe to the page. And uh, yeah, I'll be seeing you on the trails. Ride dirty.